Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio Helves and today I will help you with the frustrating white screen of Death of WordPress. Let's begin. The white screen of Death of WordPress is one of the most common errors and it is also one of the most frustrating ones because there is no error message, just a white screen with no clues on what's happening. Most of the time this problem is caused by an error code in some plugin or theme in your WordPress installation. So what are the steps to solve this problem? Enable WordPress debug mode. One of the most effective solutions is to enable the WordPress debug mode. Doing so you'll be able to see the error message that is causing the white screen and with that information you can decide what steps to take to solve the problem. To do so go to your site tools and click the file manager link under the site menu. Once the files are loaded, go to the root of your WordPress installation. Then search wp-config-php and right-click on it and select Edit to modify its content. When the window shows the code of the file, add the line Define WP Debug True and then click the Save icon. Reload the website and check for the error message. With this information, you can now select three possible solutions in order to solve the problem. Restore a backup when the site was working correctly. We've got your back with the automated backups you can restore from your site tools. To do that, I recommend you to watch our video How to manage my backup in SiteGround site tools, where I explain with details the steps you have to follow to restore that information. If you're a developer or know how to modify the code of your website, change the code and re-upload it. We recommend you to do a backup before doing any changes to your code. Otherwise, we recommend you to contact a developer who can help you to solve this problem. Once you fix the problem, don't forget to remove the constant from the wp-config file or change its value to false. Check the PHP error log. If you prefer not to show the error in the front end of your site, you can access to the PHP error log to check what is causing the widescreen problem. To do that, go again to the file manager of your site tools and go to the root of your account. In the root there is a folder called logs and inside of it there is a list of compressed files with the PHP logs. Download the most recent file and compress it and then open it with any text editor. This file will show you all the activity and possible errors of your website. Check for the error and try again the three possible solutions. Restore a backup, try to fix the code by yourself or contact a developer. I know that this is a very frustrating error but I hope that one of these solutions can help you to solve the problem. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck.